having it, fellas. Feast your eyes on this classic Honda twin cylinder cafe racer. Now, I get to ride a lot of bikes. If you watch our channel, well, today I've got nine bikes to ride, including a Mugen 250 and a BSA Thunderbolt and a CB900. And I can't lie, I was more excited about riding this little Honda than anything else. And listen to the listen to the exhaust note on this thing. It's ridiculous. The dual Corsa exhaust on this thing with the, the bell tips on it just absolutely makes some ridiculous music. If you remember, we bought a truckload of bikes from a local Honda collector not too long ago. And uh, as soon as this one rolled off, I was like, wait a minute, let's, let's give this a second look here. What a cool piece. This is an absolute blast to ride. The engine, the transmission, the uh, brakes, everything works perfectly on this. It's got a nice set of new sport tires on it. You see the front tires got maybe 30 miles on it. And uh, an absolute Obscene amount of time and money was put into this thing for, for what it is. Uh, I have a work order for over $3,400, and that doesn't that $3,400 work order doesn't include the paint job and clear coat on it. It doesn't include the cafe racer seat, doesn't include the super bike bars, doesn't include the little uh, um, cafe turn signals on here, it doesn't include customizing the front fender. So you add it all up, there's well over, well over $4,500 worth of time and effort has been put into this thing and parts. It's been gone through front to back. Starting at the front with a new front tire, the rim was painted black. Uh, it's a, a period correct mod for a cafe racer. Uh, look, it has a chopped front fender. The uh, super bike bars are nice and low and it has these see-through orange grips, which feel really good and actually work really good. It's got a new set of levers on here. Uh, it has a new speedometer. Uh, that also wasn't included in the work order. Uh, it has a new speedometer with 54 miles on there. New turn signals. The wiring's been redone for all those. The gas tank was cleaned inside and out. You can see the original center pad on there, which already is a cafe look. Uh, is pretty cool. Inside of the tank has been serviced, cleaned, and coated. It's in mint condition. Uh, the gas cap looks to be in new. It may be an NOS new replacement cap. I think it is actually. So we just invested over $3,400 in, in parts and labor. And I got a, I got a three page list here, so I'm not gonna try to remember it all. Um, the uh, charging system checked perfect. The spark is excellent. New NGK spark plugs, new NGK resistor spark plug caps. The points gap in ignition timing has been set. It's got a brand new top of the line Yuasa battery. Then the compression test perfect at 120 PSI left and right. And the thing pulls like a little freight train. Like I said, the fuel tank petcock flushed and cleaned, uh, new fuel lines, new carb vent hoses, new fuel filters, full carb service, carb float levels were reset. We're running VP110 non-ethanol fuel. It smells fantastic. Uh, it's better than coffee in the morning. New air filter, engine oil is new, lubed and adjusted, all the control cables installed, the new flasher relay so the turn signals work like they're supposed to. Uh, new rear tire uh, and tube. You can see it's got the new period correct cafe style rear tire on there. Um, the axle bearings were serviced and seals were serviced, adjusted the rear brakes in chain, installed the new horn, repaired the electrical connections with OEM style, new Honda style electrical connectors, full nut and bolt hardware check over. All the lights work beautifully. Uh, they confirmed the operation of the lights and all electricals. Then the bike went down a detail shop and uh, they lavished it with attention here. It was steam clean, uh, hand washed, degreased, polished and waxed to perfection. The, uh, Engine cases, the exhaust, all the chrome, the wheels, the forks, all the chrome and aluminum was polished. They buffed and polished the fuel tank and the other painted tins. Uh, the bike, it's an absolute joy to ride. When it revs out, it sounds, has a really unique sound. In fact, this whole lineup of bikes here, including the CB900, all these were started this morning, including the 500. When I was inside, I was most intrigued by the exhaust note on this one. It just has a real raspy, uh, throaty sound to it. So kick ass legendary Honda quality. Uh, when I saw it, when I rode it, I started thinking about Beach Boy songs, you know, just a, just a classic uh, bike you'd want to ride to the beach or to a, a, a swap meet or something. It'll turn heads everywhere you go. Um, it, it truly is one of a kind. So great opportunity to own a classic CB200T that's just been massaged to perfection mechanically and cosmetically by the best in the business. Um, and Kenny, you want to add anything about this, this bike? Yeah, the Honda Twins produced for decades, proven design. Uh, there are no weak points. Brilliant motor, CB200T had that from the factory, that cafe profile on the fuel tank. So 
uh, I can't think of a better bike to do this sort of uh, design, the, the build. Definitely exceeded my expectations riding it. Fires right up, uh, runs perfectly from idle all the way up to red line. It's got the new tires on it, the brakes are brilliant. Um, yeah, I would own it. Ken Jr. approved, for sure. Check out the switch housing. Uh, now, like I said, our work order doesn't include the new switch housing, the bars, everything else I mentioned. These are brand new switch housing the previous owner had put on there. They had painted the tank and clear coated it. Um, they painted the side covers, obviously the wheels and fenders. There's also, if you zoom in, there's a number 13 that's uh, black and kind of kind of melds in there. But if you got to zoom in, you'll see it has a number 13. I almost forgot. Check it out. Um, I forgot to mention that uh, we just installed a brand new heavy-duty gold chain on here. Look at this. That's actually an O-ring chain. That'll last forever on this bike. You'll never wear that chain out. So it's ready for Seasons is Fun. It's also ready for a birthday. A very important birthday in about 18 months. This bike will be 50 years old. It's a classic CB200. This gas tank is probably one of the most conducive to a cafe style tank that Honda makes with the, 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 um, just the lines on it, the, the, square, the square bottom, bless you. The square bottom, the uh, um, center panel on there, bless you. Uh, it has a black bullet style turn signals. It's got the cool bullet style uh, brake light in license plate mount. And, and check out the um, the uh, hockey tape they put on the, on the rear here. Just, just a really cool piece, man. A uh, lot of time and effort. Yeah, you could build one yourself, but plan on, on a whole, whole, whole bunch of time and energy getting it to where this one is. And if you paid a shop to do it, if you dropped off a CB200T and, and gave them this work order I just read off and said, hey, I want it done like this, you're going to drop over 4,000 bucks on it. So, um, this one's done, it's ready to go. And did I mention pinky start? Electric start and kick start. Did you zoom in on the engine case to show how nice it is? Absolutely, one of my favorite classic cafe racers. Motor sounds like brand new.